What's good, YouTube? Is What's good, YouTube? Is your boy Blue Blood Sports TV back at y'all with another one? So now, former WBA junior middleweight world champion, Uzbekistan star boxer Israel Madrimov suffered the first defeat of his career last night at the hands of the pound for pound king who is now four division world champion two division undisputed world champion superstar undefeated world champion boxer Terence Boyd Crawford it was a competitive fight this was Terence Crawford's first fight at 154 pounds he started his career at 130 became a champion in 135 140 and 147 and now he is initially he was fighting just for the WBA title. But it looks like the WBO will elevate him to the super champion and strip Sebastian Fundora for not honoring the mandatory. Um, and it looks like the WBC is going to make him the mandatory for a Sebastian Fundora Errol Spence fight. But they stated that being Terrence Crawford and his longtime trainer, two time trainer, the edge, which should be Brian Beaumont McIntyre. Um, they stated that Errol Spence rematches out the window. It ain't happening, right? They are just simply not going to rematch Errol Spence. So that's not happening. So with that said, Israel Majumov and his team, Joel Diaz, his promoter, Matchroom CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, they are completely unhappy with the scorecards for this fight. And they are revealing the scorecards and they are saying that they don't want to say it's a robbery, but they're saying it's a robbery, right? Um, Joel Diaz said that he don't want to say it's a robbery, but um, at the end of the day, it should have been a draw. Eddie Hearn said he don't want to say it's a robbery, but he says it's a bit of home cooking. It doesn't matter how far apart the judges' scorecards was. Let's say it was because it ended up being uh, 115, it was 116, 112, 115, 113 on the other two judges' scorecards, right? Which is two rounds. So now one had it four rounds, and the other had it two rounds. So he's saying that he's not mad with the, 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 the judge's decision to favor Crawford. But in the same token, the, the scorecard shouldn't have been that wide because then it means you did it all for nothing. Well, if they, if they said that he won by one round, what difference does it make? He still lost. He still lost. If all the judges had it, him down by one round, well, he still lost, right? And Joel Diaz said the system is terrible and it's messed up. And he's saying, Israel Majumov, they're saying that he did everything he could and he should have been the, the victim in the fight. And he felt like he was jerked, right? So they are crying robbery. But when you actually watch the fight and they're saying that because he was the world champion and um, because he was the world champion, um, that, you know, Terrence Crawford didn't take the belt from him. But if you watch the fight, also, it seemed to me as the zone was pushing the Israel Majumov card uh and clearly because eddie hearns with the zone and matchroom the commentating was completely slanted for israel majimov they wanted him to win the fight clearly and they were selling the fight closer than it actually was as if terence crawford was just being outclassed is what i felt terence crawford won the fight uh terence crawford it was a tough fight Israel Marjimov was unorthodox. He was herky-jerky. Uh, he was good at judging distance. He's big, he's strong, and he was connecting with a right hand. 
But Terrence Crawford was landing combinations. Terrence Crawford, in the last two rounds, in the championship rounds, he hurt Israel Majumov, uh in the 11th round. And then, uh, remember, um, Joel Diaz even stated going into the 12th that he's going to try to knock you out because he knew he was hurt and he was going to close the show. So Eddie Hearn is saying that he heard Bo Max say, you need a, 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 to win these rounds. Insisting, insist, in, insinuating that they were saying that Terrence Crawford was down on the cards. That's completely not true. Terrence Crawford won this fight fair and square. Was it a competitive fight? Yes. Was it a hard for fight? Yes. Uh, did he lose the fight? No. Period. So the judges having it, one judge having Terrence Crawford up four rounds, that's not a, a far fetched. And the other two judges having him up two rounds, it's definitely not far-fetched. I thought he won 11 and 12. So there's only 12 rounds in the fight. So let's say he went into the 11th and 12th round and it was 5-5, five, five, right? It was even. Well, he clearly won 11 and 12. That would give him the edge two rounds, period. So, I mean, um, Terrence Crawford is not going to rematch Israel Majumov. Uh He's going to move on. And he's looking to fight, obviously, Canelo or Unify the Belt. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. And again, another thing is, Israel Majumov and his team planted this seed, as I told you guys at the press conference, saying that they hope the judges give him a fair shake. They planted that seed, and look, they acting upon it. I told you this was coming. And that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy Blue. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.